Um, this week was tough, okay? And again, even though it's back to basics technically, and we're focusing on the quality of the rep over the quantity of the rep and, and form above anything else, Again, you can see here, the, the combinations weren't necessarily outrageous. And there's this, I'll call it a stigma, that when we go from legacy to the beginning of a challenge again, and those of you who've been here for more than one challenge, um, that it, it gets easy. People think it gets easy and it gets, it's a, it's a walk in the park for the first two weeks because everything's back to basics. But I see the way that you're sweating. So that's not true. All right, we can still move. As long as you focus on that constant movement, we're still getting stronger. All right, you're still moving yourself. You're still getting stronger. No matter what the exercise is, just keep moving, okay? Those small adjustments that we do, even that with that uh, stretch in the beginning, the core, and we turn in those hips and we feel that stretch a little bit deeper, small adjustments like that, that's like one small example. Small adjustments like that to your workouts are gonna add and make huge, huge positive ramifications of what you guys do. Um, so that's number one. Number two, um, I wasn't able to tell you guys because I didn't know yesterday when we had this class. Um, and I think some of you might've seen on Facebook, but um, Robert Kovacs has COVID-19 and he's at 100 medical right now and he's uh, struggling. And, you know, Diane, who's a 9 a.m. -er, uh, Allison, their daughter, who comes at 445, Christina, their other daughter. Um, it, it's very frustrating because, you know, normally when somebody gets sick, you're able to be there for them or like bring them chicken soup or you know like little things like that that we sometimes take for granted and now they can't even do that um and like jen i know you you've been working out with him for god knows how long it's you know this is like someone that has become like an extension of our family and this whole center we i i, I from the first day this has been treated as family i treat every single one of you like you're my family and now somebody needs our help you know, like one of our own, one of our family members needs our help. And, and what can we do? It's something very simple. So even, you know, like there's a, there's a message thread that I posted yesterday. So even going on there and writing a message to Diane and Allison so they can see that I want them to know that they're not alone in this. And it's not just them, you know, rooting and cheering and praying and hoping for Robert to come back home because he is going to come home. Um, I want them to know, beyond yeah, a shadow of a doubt, that there's an army behind them. Because we've been working out with them. We've been pushing each other. Now we just got to push a little bit differently. We gotta give them that hope. And even if, if it's just for one second, if you don't tell anybody, you just close your eyes for like 30 seconds at some point in the day and just say like a quick prayer. And not just for Robert, but there are members who have been drastically affected by this across the board. Robert is not the first member of ours to have COVID-19. Um, the other ones have recovered, thank God. Um, but again, people's family members have, have passed away, have, are still sick. So say a prayer for everybody. Okay, any and everybody who's been affected by this, it goes a long way. Even if you don't think it does, I promise you it does. And I promise Robert's gonna know, Diane's gonna know, Allison's gonna know, Christina's gonna know, and it's gonna make a huge difference, okay? So as you go into that weekend, remember somebody needs our help. So let's be there for that person, all right? And when we come back on Monday, all right, for, for week three, day one, and you unbottle everything that we just built right now, if nothing else, and if, you know, with the weekends and things being as chaotic as they are and everybody being home, Sometimes it, we get lost in the forest a little bit. So when it comes to Monday and waking up and opening up the screen, if you do it for nothing else, no other reason, all right, make Monday happen for Robert. Do it for Robert and give that extra 1% like he would give, okay? Like Sexy and I know it is coming on and he's dancing. Like, you see, Jen knows, see, she's seen it, experienced it. So again, it's that extra 1%, but if for nothing else, push it for him. Give that extra 1% for him and I promise he's gonna give that 1% back for the rest of us. Okay, so again, I wanna say thank you guys. Thank you guys for pushing. I know I wasn't normally like my peppy self, my voice is going a little bit, but again, as long as I'm still talking, we're still going, so that's totally fine. So I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for putting in the work that you guys are putting in. I want you to put your hand in nice and close. We're gonna say take it to the max on three. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. All right, and I got one quick announcement right after this. So take it to the max on three, nice and loud. One, two, three, and take it to the max.